In the sofas and beds of even our best-kept homes, microscopic dust mites quietly live their lives. Like miniature dinosaurs from a long-lost world, their bodies rarely grow large enough for the naked eye to see. Dependent on us for survival, dust mites feed primarily on the flakes of dead skin which our bodies constantly shed. Our skin itself hides a miniature world from the normal view of our eyes. When seen at high magnification, an alien landscape appears. Stubbles of hair grow like tree stumps in a terrain whose complex ecology supports a wide variety of life. On almost any strand of hair, tiny fungi can be found. In numerous forms, their population on our hair and skin numbers in the tens of thousands. Our intimate fellow travelers, fungi have lived with us through evolution to establish a permanent niche in the habitat of our skin. In the roots of everyone's eyelashes live tiny mites called Demodex folliculorum. Apparently they cause no harm, but why they are there and exactly what they do have yet to be discovered. The varied micro-landscapes on the surface of our bodies can also fall prey to less desirable guests. Meet Pediculus humanus capitis, the headlouse, a tiny and bothersome pest which lives its life firmly attached to a single strand of hair. Sarcoptes scabii, the scabies mite, is a microscopic creature that makes a comfortable home by burrowing directly into the skin. On the warm, moist regions of our skin, there is life in enormous abundance. Bacteria, the simplest form of free-living life, are constantly with us. A single bacterium can multiply to more than a million in about eight hours, and no matter how much we wash, millions remain on our skin. Each of us is the keeper of a huge, invisible zoo. In fact, at any given time, there are as many creatures on our bodies as there are people on Earth. If our numerous companions do not inspire our love, at least we have the consolation of knowing that we are never completely alone. <laughs>